Hey everyone, Dale here with LittleRVRentals.com. So today I've got a few uh, tricks and tips that I've used for a little fridge that I have in this little Bigfoot, um, but it could be applied to other RVs as well. Um, if you have a fridge that, you know, it's just not as cold as it could be when it's running on propane, uh, this also works for 110 volt as well. But uh, I've got a few little tips and tricks. So the first one is, um, if, if it won't work on propane at all, it could be your regulator. So you may need to change the regulator. Um, these things do get oil in them over time and they just, they, they lose their uh, ability. There's a diaphragm inside and they just lose their ability to work. So if, if the flame is running too hot or too, too little, uh, then your fridge will either run too hot or too cold and it won't be the right temperature to, to run the fridge properly. So if you haven't changed this in a while, you might want to take it into an RV dealer or change it um, and have that looked at. Okay, so inside the trailer here, um, I have this older Dometic 211. Uh, works really well on 110 volt, but uh, on propane it was giving me a bit of a problem. So I've changed the regulator on the front of the trailer. Um, and then what I've done next is I've, I've installed a mini fan and on the side here. And uh, because the, the, the freezer on this would always get cold. So the freezer is nice and cold, but usually the inside of the fridge would go down in temperature. Um, right now, we're sitting right in food safe, just, just a little bit above, but it's, uh, it's definitely cold in here. So it's working a lot better. And uh, so this little fan here, I have it there. And how I have the wires running is there's a drain tube. Usually every RV fridge has a drain tube. So this is only 12 volt wiring we're talking about. So I ran it down through the drain tube to the outside back of the fridge. And you could, you could try that as well. You don't have to do that. You could come up with another solution, but I found that worked best for me. And then I attached it with a couple of zip ties on the side, running the wires down. And this just blows and circulates the air around inside the, inside the fridge. And I've got a... That's cold. Very cold, so... It does help it out a lot. And then I also put some fans in the back of the fridge, which I'll show you. And how I activate the, uh, the fan is I put it on a little switch. So you can hear it going in there. I'll show you from the back of the fridge how I did that. So this is an option. You could just run this during the day and it would help in the heat to cool your fridge down because everything's circulating. Okay, so on, this is the back of the fridge now. So on the back of the fridge, I've got the bottom panel out here and that's the bo bottom of the fridge where you light it. And then up here, you can probably hear it. But I've installed two little mini fans on the other side of this grill. And there you see them there. And then I've got the wiring going up and it's wired into a switch. If you can see it back in there, it's a little hard because it's dark in there. But these uh, two little fans are running and blowing the air out because you want to keep those condenser, the condenser cool, the fins there, you want to keep them cool. The only problem I find with this is it vibrates a little bit. So what I might do is, is hang them, super glue them to the top up here, just so that it doesn't vibrate. But uh, it seems to help. That's also wired to the switches, the switch on the front of the fridge. So when I shut that off, it shuts these off. Um, because it's not very fun having these things run at night when you're trying to sleep. Usually at night the fridge cools down anyway, so you don't really need this. But during the day when the sun's hitting it, it's nice to have this. So, uh, and then you just put that back. And there you go. And you just turn these. And then you can feel you can feel the heat coming out of the top. So that helps out the fridge a lot. Also, the tube that was inside the fridge, that's where it comes out. It's just a drain tube, so that's where I ran the wires out, and then I ran them up the sidewall to, uh, to the junction up there and tapped into 12 volt. So that's an easy way to get the, f the fan wires to run outside the fridge. 
So when your profane fridge is running, there's a little door here. If you take that off, you want to make sure that you have a nice blue flame like that. It's running. Now, if your flame is really, really, really tiny, this one's a little down, but if it's really tiny, that's where you might need a new regulator on the front of the trailer. Or, if you take it apart, there's, there's an orifice in here. It's a propane orifice, and if you take that apart and soak it in goof off, um, it will clean the inside. You also want to make sure your burner is clean right in here. So I usually blow it out with an air compressor, and then there's the, the flue up here. You, you stick an air compressor end in there and you blow it up through here and you just bang on the side of it. Make sure your propane system's off before you do all this. But you want to make sure that burner's clean and this orifice. I've had the orifice out, I've let it soak and I've put it back in and that's about as good a flame as I can get. You don't really want to see any yellow in the flame. You want to see a nice clear blue flame just like that. And uh, this is your, your, your warmer or cooler. So if I adjust that, you'll notice it'll, the flame will go down. It almost goes out. So you want to make sure that that's up enough. All the way to cold, so that's working properly. This one down here is for when you're on electric. And then this is how you switch from electric to 12 volt to propane. Um, you also want to make sure that this is all the way on because if you if you turn this, it'll make the flame go out as well. See? Um, so yeah, you want to make sure that's all nice and clean. Keep it clean in there. Put the fans on it. I, th I think the fans make a huge difference. I think it. It does help because you're, you're, this gets very hot way up in here and the, the fans just help it bring, I can feel the heat coming out of the top here right now. So definitely put the fans on. You can put the fans on a thermostat and put it on the back of your, I'll show you here. You could put it on, like mount the thermostat up here where it's really warm, that tube, and then it'll kick on when it gets hot. That would be ideal. I haven't, uh, I've ordered a thermostat but it hasn't come in yet. So for right now, I'm just using the switch on the front of the fridge. You also want to keep those uh, those coils clean, so you want to blow them out. Try not to damp hit them too much, but you want to you want to blow them out. Make sure all the dust is off them. That'll make sure it uh, runs a lot cooler as well. There's where I mounted the switch to the inside of the trailer. I just ran the wires, and uh, I found a negative and positive here to tap into. Anyway, that concludes this video. I hope that helps uh, you. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please uh, like and subscribe below. Please share this video. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers.